Hello everyone, it is Mike Les here with another 2018 wheat harvest video from the Buckeye State. I am on the state line of Ohio and Indiana and I was at Home Iron and Sons in Payne, Ohio who is a newer versatile dealer. They also farm and they were cutting wheat with their Gleaner R65 Combine and I came out to the field here to get a little bit of footage. The Gleaner R65 Combine was manufactured by Agco between 2003 and 2008. This machine weighs in around 27,600 pounds and this was a 300 horsepower combine with a 300 bushel grain tank that has an unloading speed of 2.8 bushels per second. The combine in this video has a 30 foot head on it. I know some people make fun of me for it, but I'm a Gleaner fan. Uh, ever since they come out with the uh, R-Series in the uh, 42 through the 72, that's when I became a Gleaner fan. So I uh, always like to get a Gleaner video every year if I can in the wheat and the corn and so forth. Uh, one of my most watched, actually my most watched video on YouTube uh, is three Gleaner combines down in Texas. And that is over 900,000 views. So... Uh, Gleaner has a good following out there, so like I said, always try to get a Gleaner video in when I can. And of course, uh, the people that do not like Gleaners always refer to them as the Silver Cedars, which uh, I've read that comment a lot, but I don't care what brand of combine it is out there. If it is not set up correctly, adjusted, and crop conditions have a lot to do with it, you can find a trail of uh, volunteer wheat behind any of them a few weeks after harvest. I think every combine manufacturer out there makes a pretty decent combine these days. And uh, like I said, it all comes down to how they're set up and adjusted, how you're running it, and of course crop conditions uh, can have a lot to do with it too. And you go back to the days when I used to work at a dealer as a technician back at uh, Whitmer's Incorporated in Columbia, Ohio. They were a longtime white dealer. Of course, white quit making combines and Whitmer's picked up uh, Gleaner shortly after that and that would have been right when the uh, R42 uh, and 52 come out so I've been to some service schools on them been out in the field with them and just got to really like them at that series I did uh, spend some seat time in uh, an R60 the model before that and uh, them used to have the big Deutz uh, V8 motor in them the R60 and R70 or of course the 62 and 72 and I always thought them had a pretty nice sound hearing them screaming uh, across the field at first, I thought uh, an air-cooled uh, diesel engine in a combine could not be a good thing, but as long as you kept them clean, they were a pretty good running, efficient motor. And back when the uh, R42 through 72 come out, you used to have a choice when you ordered one. You could either get a Cummins motor or a Deutz air-cooled. And uh, when Whitmers took them on, they were ordering them with the Cummins. And uh, a couple customers that come in and bought the first ones were... Uh, Long-time Gleaner owners, and they wanted the Deutz. So the first ones were sold with that. Of course, Edco went to uh, strictly Cummins Motors after that for a while in the Gleaners, and then later on switched to the Edco or the Sisu motor, which is what they currently use now. And as I mentioned in some of my other wheat harvest videos, Ohio is mostly a corn and soybean state with a little bit of wheat grown, so a lot of farmers uh, don't bother to get the grain cart out just for uh, 
wheat harvest. But no matter what combine you like, anytime you can be out in the summertime in a golden wheat field, it's always a good thing. And as this video comes to an end, again, I'd like to thank all my uh, loyal YouTube fans and stay tuned for many more YouTube videos from Mike Les.